In honor of Asian Pacific American Heritage Month, we're celebrating a trio of actors who fearlessly blaze trails in old Hollywood. If you work hard, you will be treated well. On this IMD Brief, we present just a few of the unsung Asian American Pacific Islander heroes of film history. Regardless of back-to-back -back Best Director and Best Picture Oscar wins for Asian filmmakers Bong Joon-ho and Chloe Zhao, Hollywood's representation for people of Asian descent has been fraught with problematic portrayals, caricatures, and a barely skin-deep perception of their inner lives. I must confess I don't quite know the standard of respectability that you demand in your boarding house. Our first hero, Anna Mae Wong, was one of the very first Asian American actresses to ascend to stardom. Born in LA's Chinatown to second-generation Chinese-American parents, Wong was taken by the glitz and glamour of Hollywood's silent era and found extra work as a teen. She garnered notoriety after appearing with Douglas Fairbanks in the smash hit swashbuckler The Thief of Baghdad in 1924. But this led to more stereotyped seductress roles of the exotic dragon lady, a part she did not want to play in an industry that gave her no other options. Wong fought to play real people, but racial segregation prevented Wong from sharing an on-screen kiss with a white actor. After a decade of disappointment, she campaigned to play Olan, the lead of a big-screen adaptation of Pearl Buck's The Good Earth in 1937. But MGM offered her the deceitful concubine role instead, to which she told legendary producer Irving Thalberg, "'You're asking me, with Chinese blood, to do the only unsympathetic role in the picture featuring an all-American cast portraying Chinese characters. German actress Louise Reiner took the role of Olan instead and won an Oscar for her performance. You must sell! Is it your land? Did you buy it bit by bit? In 1951, Wong blazed a new trail in television, becoming the first Asian-American star of a primetime series on the gallery of Madame Lu Song, a role written just for her. But the show was canceled after one season, and all copies have been lost to time. One year before her untimely death in 1961, she became the first Asian-American actress to receive a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame, right near the intersection of Hollywood and Vine. In this wine, we pledge our troth. Our key pledges his love. Our next unsung hero, Sesu Hayakawa, was one of the first Asian leading men, an early Hollywood heartthrob who was a contemporary of Anna Mae Wong, even portraying her romantic counterpart in 1931's Daughter of the Dragon. Born in Japan, Hayakawa was discovered by D.W. Griffith's producing partner Thomas H. Ince. This led to early roles in silent films like The Typhoon, The Wrath of the Gods, and 1915's The Chief. <laughs> Hayakawa parlayed stardom into launching Haworth Pictures Corporation and producing 23 films in just a few years, but his success was short-lived, and he left Hollywood for Europe, stating that his early roles are false and give people a wrong idea of us. I wish to make a characterization which shall reveal us as we really are. My one ambition is to play a hero. Hayakawa may have never gotten that chance on the grand stage of Hollywood, but late in his career, he did play the honorable villain Colonel Saito in 1957's The Bridge on the River Kwai, a performance that earned him a much-deserved Best Supporting Actor Oscar nomination. It's against the rules. Do Stop. not speak to me of rules. This is war. Our final unsung hero, Merle Oberon, was the first Asian person to be nominated for any Academy Award, but she had to hide her heritage to find fortune and fame. Oberon was born in India in 1911 to a British father and a mother of Sri Lankan and Maori ancestry, but created the cover story that she was born in Tasmania and all records were destroyed in a fire. She broke out in a small but memorable role as Anne Boleyn in 1933's The Private Life of Henry VIII. Among the queens of England, I shall be Anne sans tête. That means Anne who lost her head. After the film was a sensation, Oberon became a leading lady in The Scarlet Pimpernel, Wuthering Heights opposite Laurence Olivier, and 1935's World War I drama with Frederick March, 
The Dark Angel. She received that Best Actress nomination for The Dark Angel, the only actress of Asian descent ever in the category. However, this milestone wasn't discovered until after her death in 1979, when the truth about her genealogy was ultimately revealed. Hey, wait a minute. No, goodbye. For more videos and interviews to celebrate Asian Pacific American Heritage Month, check out our special section at imdb.com slash imdbpics.